up, and I'm still here live at the Plaquemine Battle of the Bands, and I have Mr. Bobby Bowman, yes, band director of the Glen Oaks High School Marching Band. How you doing today, sir? I'm great. I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well, sir. I'm doing really well. So, um, it's my privilege to have you on the Where Is Hamp show. So I wanna, we have something called Band Facts, which means your entire band history. So I would like to know. When did you first pick up a horn? When, when, how did you become a musician, and how did you end up at this program? How long you been here? Give me the shorter bridge version now, brother. <laughs> Come on, you're running from me. Come on over here. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? We ready. We are ready, Mr. Bowman. Are you really ready for this? I think we're ready, Mr. Bowman. Okay, I'm, I came from a small town called St. Joseph, Louisiana. It's in the north part of Louisiana. Only thing I knew was band. Believe it or not. I walked into Grambling State University band room and just auditioned. It's been a few years. I walk ago. on. You just walk, walk on. on. You walked in and said, hey, brother, I, I got a talent that I, I think you need to pay attention to. Yes, yes. I was on sousaphone, believe it or not. Please tell them what a sousaphone is for, the, for, those, for those youngsters. Some of you might think of it as a big tuba, a white big tuba, but it's really called a sousaphone. Mm -hmm. Yes. I just walked in and auditioned, and I got a scholarship just from walking on. I also decided to be a band director because that's all I wanted to do in life. I even wrote it in my senior book. My senior book said I'm, I was going to become a band director one day, and it came true. Okay, so... You went to Grambling State. Come, come on over here, brother. I'm running from it. Yes. So you went to Grambling State. You graduated from Grambling State. Yes, sir, I did. Where did your journey take you from there? How did you end up being a band director? Well, I started in a place called Shady Grove, not too far from here. That's in Louisiana? Yes, it's in this parish. Educate us, brother. It started in, with Shady Grove, and then it moved to a little place where they run behind the chickens called Mamu. <laughs> Mamu, Louisiana? You ever heard of Mamu? Never heard of Mamu. Mamu. Mamu is, is where they run behind the chickens during Mardi Gras. And then one day, I decided to come back home, which is where I was living in Baton Rouge. I know that place. Yes. <laughs> So it's been 22 years I've been at Glen Oaks High School, 22 years, and I've been teaching for 35. All right. Now, that's a wonderful story, brother. You are definitely a historic band director out here in the community, so we want to thank you for all of the hard work that you do. I appreciate it. I'm supposed to retire this year, but according to my principal and students and band parents and everyone else, they told me, give them one more year. One more year. One more year. Every year has been... One more year. <laughs> Sound like the Saints, I tell you. Next year we're going to do it. But <laughs> So let me ask you this. How is being a director of this band for so many years and touching so many young lives, how has that changed your life and the, the impact that you and the purpose that you have waking up every day and going to this school and talking to these kids? Well, it's been great. The main thing is when you can see the kids grow up, I have a few working with me now. They're sitting in the stands like Tremaine Anthony, Philandis Patterson, Kyron Davis, and Brian Swanier. They're all former students. They come back and help. I also have students going that are getting scholarships now. I think I have about four going to Alcorn this year, State University, and GSU. <laughs> Got to send them back down the home road, right? Yes, yes. I'm proud of all of my students. When you see them grow up and become good citizens, that's the main thing. And then when they give back to the, their community, that's a great thing. So I'm very proud of each and every one of them. Okay, now in this band tenure, this, I'm sure this is going to be a hard question for you to answer. Go ahead. What is your favorite band song? Whatever it is, it could be a song since, since you were a kid, but what is it, that one song that you hear? Because music brings joy to our hearts. Oh, yeah. What is that one song that you just... You get emotional, it just really, it gives you joy and makes you feel, you know, it makes you feel a certain way. Well, one of the songs is Black and Blues, you know. Black and Blues, back in the days, used to be the main song. 
If you played black and blues, you had skills. You also had a lot of talent, because Black and Blues was the number one song mm -hmm. back during the time when I started teaching. Rest in peace to Mr. Al Jarreau. <laughs> um, and final question. Most historic band battle you've ever witnessed, either as a director, as a student, or just as a, a lover of bands? Well, I'm just going to go with my students, because when we went to Port Arthur, Texas, Port Arthur, Texas has maybe... 15 or more bands. And this year, for the first time, we placed first in Port Arthur, Texas, along with the drum major, which means all the drum major was in the same category. And he placed first. So that's one of the best. And we have bragging rights on that. <laughs> we came back with our first place. I definitely want to congratulate you all. You, you all just put on a wonderful show. I just told your kids against Richwood High School. And in my book, all of you all are winners. It's all the kids, it's the community, it's the director. We all coming together to keep these kids off the street, to put, to put a talent in their hand that's going to send them off to the next level where they can be productive citizens. So we here at the Where Is Ham Show would like to salute you for the hard work you've been doing for over 20 years. Yes, it's been over 20 years. More like 35. <laughs> Not trying to tell your age, though. We're not counting. So yeah, thank you. We're not counting. Thank you, and we appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you too.